Now, the first group of asylum seekers is due to arrive in Nauru this morning. Our reporter, Kieran McKechnie, is on Nauru and she joins us now on the phone. Kieran, good morning. Uh, when are they expected to arrive there? Look, we, we're not really sure, to be perfectly honest, Michael. It's a bit of a waiting game here at the airport. We've been here since just before 5 o'clock Australian time. Uh, we got the fright of our lives a little earlier when a woman came rushing up to us and told us that the asylum plane had come in at midnight. Uh, but I think we've established that that was a, a cargo plane. So we, we are hopeful that the, uh, the, the, the plane carrying the asylum seekers will be here in the next hour or two. Now, uh, we can uh, show our viewers, Kieran, while we're chatting, some pictures of the asylum seekers boarding this plane on Christmas Island. Take us through what's going to happen once they do arrive on Nauru. Well, again, there's, there's very little detail, but we assume that they will be ferried up to the, uh, the processing centre up, uh, up on, on, on the, the highest part of Nauru. Uh, there they will be escorted to their tents, um, up there's a, a big tent camp up there. It will sleep about 150 people initially, uh, and they will be having um, five people to a tent. Um, there's, there's a kitchen facility there. There are um, there's a big dining hall, uh, and there's also facilities there for people to use phones and I believe also to use the internet. So, uh, and you've been there for a few days now. Would you describe things as being as ready as they? could be, I suppose, for the arrival of these detainees? Yeah, look, we um, the last time we were granted access to the processing facility was on Monday. It was not at all ready when we were there on Monday. The, the kitchen hadn't been built and, and the toilet and shower facilities uh, didn't have any plumbing into them. Uh, but I spoke to the Immigration Department late yesterday and they assured me that a lot of progress has been done. Uh, there's a, still a few finishing touches that were, were being done last night, but they said that the uh, the camp was ready to house its first occupant. Kira McKechnie, we'll touch base with you later in the program. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.